Disclaimer! Just because we do it, doesn't mean you should. Sort of bad. No, ZA. ZA, sorry, Z ZA. ZA5, actually. So Dad just finished up the, uh, the flapperons, and something very important that I didn't catch that he caught was um, that you don't, you have, with, the, with the plates that you put together, they don't match up perfectly, so I will let him explain. Yeah, so essentially, um, the way we did this is, it, it, from this diagram, you can see the, the plate following the line of the um, flapperon, and what we did is just shifted the plate just a little bit up so that we got more meat or more uh, metal material on this plate um, on, the, on the rivet, so there's a bit better there. The only thing when doing that is that we have to make sure that we um, do the same thing with the other plates so that they're consistent, so the inboard and outboard flap rods are aligned and uh, they have the 15 to 17 degree um, range of motion essentially tied into this. So that's what I, I just wanted to point that out. But yeah, and that's, and it's, I mean, it's all here and it's just that, it's just, I didn't, I didn't catch, I didn't realize at first that the inboard and outboard flap rod are not supposed to be lined up perfectly. There's actually supposed to be, I, I, I guess, uh, 15 to 17 millimeters difference um, between them. And so that's why, you, the, yes, that's why the plate has to be like that. But So you're saying what you did is you you raised this plate up right. so that you had more metal. Right. So the, the, yeah, it. so the edge tolerances weren't as tight. Correct. And so you just did the same thing with the other plate. Correct. Okay. And then this and plate. It's important to note this is ZA5. 75 uh, seven C, and it's not noted oh, yeah. in the. Uh, if you look at the main page here, yeah, because that's what we were we were working, we were working on this, at. and I couldn't get this figured out until Roger pointed out that it's here. Oh uh, yes, yes, good. Yeah, that's and that's a good note. And like I said, it's all it's all in the plan somewhere. It's just something that that I didn't catch. So I'm glad I'm glad you caught that. Thank you. And um, let's see, this is which one is this? This that is, uh, is I can't remember. Well, it's anyway, it looks like. Yeah, it's a very, it's, it's probably hard to see in this light anyway, um, but just to kind of show you, so, but you did do it on this one, like this is what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah. yeah, it's it's hard to tell, I mean, you barely tell, there's just like a tiny little bit sticking up on this edge, and you can kind of see it's, it's not totally in line um, with the top skin, which is fine, but the main thing is that, the main thing is that the, the yeah, the, the, dif the distance or the angle between the two uh, is the same, so that's all. Just wanted to make that make that note there. Where the angle attack is higher on the root oh, yeah. the rotor, and then a disc goes out and it flattens out. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's kind of, or it's yeah. almost like, uh, you know, like or dihedral or, yeah. or what do they call that? Like when the, the wing is like, oh, you warped, warped guy. Or not warped, yeah, no, but I, I don't know. I'm sure somebody, what, if you yeah, know what it is, mm -hmm. like, you know, we'll, leave a comment. Those out there will tell us. I'm sure. Yeah. So we're we actually just got started working or just pulled out the wing spars so we're going to be working on that which is pretty exciting and i'm still working on the engine stuff so just a quick little update thing about the flapperons there